Okay, today I'm going to make a video on how to install the Motrofly DM3625. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Uh, KV430. Uh, this one uh, has a prop adapter that is perfect. It's a perfect match for the four bladed prop for the Star Max P51 Mustang 1600mm uh, plane. And so if you're looking at using your original four bladed prop and want a motor that has very little uh, modification that needs to get done to it in order to use the, your stock four blade prop, this uh, uh, DM3625 uh, motor has the, the prop adapter that's perfect for it. Uh, there are a few modifications that you have to do in order to get it to fit. It's not that bad really for a modification. Uh, one thing I had to do was drill out the holes a little bit on the original motor motor mount because uh, the motor the holes for the new motor don't match up. So uh, all I did was just elongate the holes. I think I'm a little bit longer. Uh, I was able to use the stock screws and let me get this adjusted there real quick so we can see. And uh, just by making the holes a little bit longer there, they all fit. And, uh, and, and after putting in the stock screws, there still was no play in it at all. Uh, the screws mount outward on the, on the elongated holes, so once you put the four screws in there, it does hold it into place. Uh, one thing you'll want to do too, of course, is with the, the screws when you put them in there is to use some Loctite. Uh, which is what I'm going to be doing today when I go to reinstall it. But uh, the other thing that was different between the motors is that uh, the Motorfly motor is just about a third of an inch shorter. So when you go to mount it in your uh, in, mount it in the plane, of course, it's not going to stick out as far, and you're going to run into a problem with your prop uh, rubbing on the uh, the body. So what I did is. Let me get my flashlight. As I took a piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood and I cut to fit, uh, put the holes in it there for the mount, and uh, then I glued it to the back. Now when I glued it in there, I uh, put the screws in the plywood uh, after applying the glue to the plywood and then I mounted the plywood with the screws so that way the holes lined up and uh, so that way you wouldn't have too much of a hassle trying to get the holes to line up uh, with the screws and, and whatnot. But uh, that glue just holds that uh, piece of plywood in place. And that's enough to bring that out far far enough so you got clearance on your on your uh, prop. So, uh, but that's all you gotta do for the modifications. I haven't had a chance to uh, test this yet uh, to see what kind of uh, power we're gonna get with this, uh, this Motorfly motor. And uh, the reason why I got it is because I wanted the simplicity of uh, the prop adapter uh, for the four-bladed prop. And uh, But I did get uh, my speed controller in today and I got the Castle 100 amp uh, that we're going to be installing. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing a video for it though because we all pretty much know how to hook up our speed controllers. and. Uh, so forth, but it, I did get the data link for it uh, That's the quick connect this guy uh, the quick connect allows you to uh, hook that up And so you can just hook up the data link without having to pull out any cables or anything like that This that just hooks up in uh, in line with your speed controller and your uh, receiver uh, But I got the data link so after I do a test run I'll do a static test run and uh, then uh, use the software and figure that out to uh, see what kind of current and uh, temperatures we might be getting on this motor and the speed controller. Well, one more thing I also want to point out too is after you get your motor mounted uh, your uh, screw holes drilled you want to make sure that uh, that, that center uh, shaft is in the center of that hole uh, so when you go to spin it that uh, you don't get any it doesn't hit or bind up inside that hole for the mount but uh, it does fit you just gotta make sure that it's centered and you're not hitting anything after you get your holes drilled and uh, 
There we go. Another thing you're going to have to do too is get longer screws for mounting the, the motor mount to the firewall. Uh, the original stock screws are too short and since we had to put that one third inch uh, plywood there as a spacer, you need to find longer screws. Uh, I did have a hard time finding them at the local hardware store. Most of the hardware stores I went to only had four millimeter screws and uh, the original screw is a three millimeter screw. But uh, if you look around, you probably find a hardware store that's got them. Uh, but you have to get uh, a little bit longer. And I don't know if you can see it there, but these are 27 millimeter long screws. And uh, that worked uh, quite well for me. Uh, I don't know what that screws into. I don't know if it's a... Uh, metal nut that's embedded there or for screwing into plastic I was unable to see up inside the plane to see what they're screwing into so I don't know if it's a good idea to use Loctite or not um, if you know for a fact that it's going into a metal nut back there please make a comment and uh, let us know if we can use Loctite on those because uh, of course if you're going into plastic Loctite is just going to eat up that plastic also, I know that it's difficult to get those screws in place, so what I found uh, is I'll mount the, put the screws in the motor mount and kind of put it all back there and with the screwdriver try to match up the holes and then of course once you get one of them in, uh, then and if you haven't knocked any screws out of the motor mount, you can finally fish in the other ones. Also, uh, one other thing to note is on the motor mount, You've got two screw or two holes that are wider than the other side. So when I mounted this, I wanted the wires to be on the down. So of course, when you put it up in there, so make sure that you get the, the right holes on the right side that you want when you go to mount it back up in there. They're not, they're not symmetrical. They're not the same distance on, on both sides. <clears throat> so uh, there you have it. I think that's everything that uh, there is to know. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to again we'll show that this four bladed prop how that mounts and let's see if we can see it there it's a, as you can see it's a perfect fit the length is perfect for the the spinner and uh, once we're all done here I will have a results video after I get the speed controller set up and uh, hopefully followed by a great flight. I'm um, hoping to have this all done and fly worthy by tomorrow. And so I can get it in the air and see how that motor performs. And uh, see if it's see if it's worth anything. Again, the craftsmanship on it is just phenomenal. I mean, the windings, perfect. So uh, I'm very hopeful for this motor. Okay, I have everything hooked up. I got the uh, speed controller installed. Motor set up. Uh, I got the uh, speed controller programmed. So uh, right now I'm going to do a static, static run, so I can get some readings, find out how much current that's drawing with that setup that I've got with that motor flight motor and uh, the speed control unit or that 100 amp Castle Creations uh, Phoenix Ice. Okay, landing gear is down, hopefully, I would take it outside, but I don't have much room outside either, it's just going to get noisy in the house. Uh, let's put the canopy on just for looks. Yeah, I can, maybe I can tell what the temperature is going to be like with what airflow is going to get through there. Alright, here we go.
Okay, there you go. It's about uh, that was on a four cell. Uh, let me see. That is a four cell, four thousand milliamp hour battery. Uh, and as I, I ran it quite quite hard, uh, and we're smoking. smoke's coming from all right I'll investigate and I will report okay looks like that motor got a bit hot and uh, as you can see with the flashlight there I hope it's focus is all right uh, the styrofoam started to bubble up um, yeah that motor is still pretty hot And, but I ran it hard though. I, you know, I should have managed that throttle a little bit better. I was staying at, I wanted to see what we had for current. And uh, I'm hoping that that motor is still okay. Uh, let me see if I can grab something to hold that motor with, see if it'll turn. Uh, I don't see anything here yet. Uh, anyway. Um, I'm gonna do some more investigating and we'll add to this video yet. Okay, the motor still does turn. I'm hoping that I caught it in time uh, before it did any damage to that windings. Uh, so, all right, I'm gonna hook it up to the data plug and we'll uh, pull it up on the computer and see what kind of current temperature the ESC had. Okay, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but here's the statistics on that run. Um, let's see, uh, things that we're going to be important with are important. Uh, you're probably going to want to know the max current that went through it. Uh, that was here towards the uh, beginning of the flight. Uh, maximum current was 68 uh, amps, 68.9. Our... Um, temperature uh, the maximum temperature was 209 and uh, the current rate and this is of the ESC and uh, the maximum rating for that is uh, 200 uh, but I don't know if you can see on this graph here the temperature continued to go up but um, I was on that throttle quite hard I wanted to put it through the uh, as, uh, so I would know what our maximums were and uh, hopefully I won't be flying that at full throttle uh, tomorrow when I take it up for a test run. Uh, the motor still appears to be alright. I haven't fired it up yet. Again, I just wanted to make sure that uh, that um, that temperature came down. Uh, but you'll obviously want to do throttle management. Uh, I will try to investigate if there is any other way of uh, getting some more airflow over that motor. It does sit right behind that um, uh, prop adapter, and so it probably doesn't get much airflow uh, across that. Uh, RPM, maximum RPM was uh, 34,142. Uh, that is uh, uh, 430 kV motor. Um, and there's there, but uh, and hopefully that uh, covers everything that uh, might be interesting to some of you. Uh, watts maximum watts was 1,047. Average was 425. And. Uh, I think that about does it. Hopefully I'll have a uh, flight video for us tomorrow. And uh, again, you may have to, if you have this set up, uh, maintain uh, some throttle management on that. I wouldn't go full throttle, but maybe for about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds at a time. Um, unless you have some way of having some good airflow over that motor. And uh, thank you for watching.